rotate your phone if you don't mind, and we will take a tour through my Pride and Joy binder. This is my Yu-Gi-Oh! collection binder, and the first page obviously has to have my favorite card of all time, Lightning Chidori. I've got multiple printings of it in Ulti, there are actually more than this, but they're in Dex. And then my Harpies, which were my first love. Um, one of the first decks that I strove to max out in rarity, so I've got my ulti queens, and my ulti chandlers. I do not have the highest rarity of cyber or pet dragon, but I do like the ones I have, so it's okay. More harpies. I have so many feather storms. I keep telling myself I probably should have sold them when they were hyped up from flu, but it's fine. I have like a dozen of them. And Feather Duster is another one of those cards that I've just always enjoyed collecting over the years. Um, as you can see, several of them are doubled up. I don't actually know exactly how many I have, but it's quite a few. <laughs> several of these, there's like three in each sleeve. But yes, it is one of my favorite cards. I've got my old school Change of Heart. I have two of these from back in the day. And Monster Reborn, first edition, near mint. Polymerization, first edition, not near mint. This was in decks when I was a young lassie. My Regeki, first edition, is also in a deck. Signed cards by Jonathan Todd Ross, who voice acts Merrick. Um, that was from. YCS in 2015, I believe, in Chicago. It's been a minute. Deck Magician Girl. Some more old school classic spells. So here we got the DMG page. Got my original first edition over here. I actually got this as payment for a commission way back. And she was only like $80 back then. And she's a little bit more than that now. So that was nice. <laughs> and the Secret Rare Dark uh, Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, I actually pulled this one. Uh, I pulled a couple of her when she first came out. I ended up selling one, but I still have one of them. My original starter deck, Yugi, Dark Magician. I still have a couple of him. Uh, Dark Paladin was actually a gift from one of my good friends growing up, so I'll probably have that forever. <laughs> then we got the Blue Eyes page. Toon Dragon was also a gift from a good friend that I actually made through Instagram. Shout out to Zeke! Um, Blue Eyes Alternative. I pulled this one. That was super exciting. I think that was the first Ghost Rare I've ever pulled. Uh, my, my Jump Blue Eyes is... <laughs> And again, my original started at Kaiba Blue Eyes, I still have from way back. The Red Eyes collection, my started at Joey Red Eyes. This was a gift from one of my good friends several years ago that I'm engaged to now. <laughs> Funny how that works out. Cyber Dragon Ghost Rare, also pulled that one after the alternative, but that was an exciting pull. Serving Night Dragon was just one of those cards that I really loved when I was younger, and I finally got one a couple of years ago, and I was so happy. And then the Curse of Dragons, I've had these in my collection since I was young as well. And thankfully, young me was super OCD about keeping her cards decent, so they are still in good shape. <laughs> and then the glory spread, we got the Egyptian God cards with the Imperium Duelist border sleeves, uh, more... Roz, signed by Merrick's voice actor. And then the Synchros. Scarlet is my favorite Synchro of all time. Love it. Got my Black Rose. This was also a gift, so I'll probably have it forever. And my first set, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Both near mint. And yeah, just looking through these pages makes me real happy. Younger me would have never guess that the collection would have gotten to this point. We got the Trishulas, the Stardusts, 
more synchros with all the ice barrier pre-cards and then evil swim or boros which i couldn't tell you why but it's just like one of my favorite xz monsters i love it i have the uh the secret rare the dual terminal shadow foil and then this one's actually a misprint it's a dual terminal but it does not have the shadow foil layer which is super cool in my opinion more beautiful synchros see some people are like you should sell those things because they're like worth money now and i'm like but then i won't have them in my collection anymore and i would rather just have them thank you um fairies fairies are also one of my early decks that i really loved played agents really loved them and it was a goal of mine to eventually have a playset of ghost rare honest and that did happen a few years back and i've got a couple of them in french because you know, it's bougie when you have foreign cards, I guess. I don't know. I just, I like French. I think it's a beautiful language. I don't speak it very well, but, you know. High school French, let's go! <laughs> and, yeah. Athena was one of my favorite cards for a very long time. Then we got the Xyz. Got a few Alties hanging out over here. Um, my x currently in my labyrinth deck I believe but yeah Draco Sack, Big Eye a lot of these I actually had for my Harpy deck that I only took apart just recently I haven't decided if I want to put it back together yet and I've had this card for forever I don't even remember for sure where I got her but we got a new mint first edition Lily and an unlimited one first edition Mystical Elf had that one since I was very young. One of my good friends from college ended up moving to Japan after college and he would bring me back Japanese packs when he would visit the States. And those were ones that I received from him and those packs, so that was super cool. Yeah, and then spell books, when I started playing again uh, as a young adult, uh, were the first deck I really fell in love with after kind of graduating from scrubbier days, I guess. <laughs> and, um, so I, Priestess was my, my boss monster in that, and so I got my secret very first edition Priestesses, and I love them. I never really cared about, like, ultying out the rest of the spellbook deck. I just wanted my Priestesses. And then we got traps that come and go from formats. Someday I will have the secret rare cylinder. It just hasn't happened yet. And there's actually a place out of ulti breakthrough skills in here. Pretty. My only Starlight Rare that I own, Snowl. I keep debating putting her in the deck, but honestly, I just love secret rares, so I've got a secret in mind, but yeah, it's okay. And the Ulti Rafflesias and Super Mermelios and everything are currently in the trade binder, just in case someone needs them more than me, Ulti Rafflesia. But yeah random things. I have a small stack of secret avions just because it's one of those cards that was like a quarter for the longest time and I thought it was pretty so I picked up a bunch. It worked out well. And then there used to be droplets in here but I decided to, did decide to sell those. I'll pick them up again eventually for the collection but and then my uh, my super lances are in the trade binder currently too in case someone needs them more but yeah. And then Daiya back up. I loved Yosent and Juice and didn't play this card, but still loved it and have like a small stack of them. All of these are, there's multiples in there, but <laughs> I used to have like a page as my center fold before I switched to the 4-3 the style binder because it, it was too big to fit everything before. Anyway, that's my little collection binder tool, the, the gem binder, if you will, for Yu-Gi-Oh. Thanks for going through it with me.